Here we have a horizontal well bore that has just been drilled. The drill pipe, portal bit, and landing sub in the bottom hole assembly are tripped into the well bore. They go through the vertical portion of the well, around the curve, and out the lateral section of the well all the way to total depth. Once TD is reached, the drill pipe is positioned off bottom far enough to accommodate the length of the Sherlog logging string. The logging tools are lowered down the drill pipe on wire line using gravity until they slow to a stop while attempting to travel through the curve. At this point, the mud pumps are engaged, pushing the logging tools along the lateral section of the hole and out of the bit until the top of the logging string lands at the no-go, allowing the logging sensors to extend from the bit. The logging tools are then checked for full functionality and placed in the correct position with the density pad looking down. The battery and memory systems are activated, the tools are released, and the wire line is retrieved from the well. The drill pipe is now tripped from the well while the Sherlog tools are logging the open hole lateral section as it comes out. If the pipe becomes stuck during the process, the Sherlog logging string can be retrieved at any time, removing the risk of losing the nuclear sources and contaminating the well. The logging data is then merged with the surface data once the tools are retrieved from the well similar to a logging while drilling model.